Hi, everybody. We'll jump right into our questions. The first this week comes from Megan in Minnetonka. She emailed in, Dear Congressman Paulson, I am having a hard time finding a company in our community to provide the home medical equipment, HME, services and supplies that I need to safely maintain my independence at home. Medicare beneficiaries like myself should not be left scrambling to access these services, but our communities are losing resources we need to manage our medical needs at home. We need for you to take a stand for your constituents by co-sponsoring a bill that will intervene and provide relief. Representatives Kathy McMorris Rogers and Dave Lobsack introduced H.R. 4229, Protecting Home Access Act, to seek statutory relief, and I respectfully ask that you co-sponsor this important legislation. Thank you for your help. Sincerely, Megan. Megan, thanks for writing. Now, the issue that Megan is talking about is the fact that Medicare payments have been uh, put in place uh, since 2016 on certain products that uh, home seniors, uh, that home health seniors use for services at home, like oxygen, for instance. And having access to these critical uh, critical devices and, and products is really important to make sure that seniors are at home rather than being in a nursing home. Uh, I am co-sponsoring this legislation. It's very bipartisan. I'm hoping it will take action on the House floor because while we've made some progress in making sure some of these products are not eliminated or that have won't have the cuts, not all of those products have been on those on that list uh, uh, to be saved. Next up is an email from Joan and Champlin who also emailed in. Dear Congressman Paulson, my name is Joan and I am a constituent from Champlin that cares deeply about our service members and veterans. Veterans are at twice the risk of suicide than non-veterans, and even though they only make up 8.3% of the United States population, they comprise nearly 14% of all American suicides. Please continue to support programs and initiatives that prevent service member and veteran suicide and increase access to mental health care. Thank you. Sincerely, Joan. Joan, thanks for writing. You're absolutely right. The suicide rates among our veterans are still way too high. A number of veterans each and every day unfortunately take their life. It's a tragic story. And the statistics for female veterans is about 150 percent higher than it is for just regular females in our population. The good news is we have passed bipartisan legislation, now law. One is the Veterans Urgent Access to Mental Health Care Act, which expands access to mental health screenings for thousands of veterans that might not otherwise be able to access these services. It'll help spot red flags early and hopefully get the care and service that our veterans deserve and need. Thanks for sharing your thoughts, your ideas. Continue to reach out anytime on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, of course, on the website, paulson.house.gov. Have a great weekend and a great week.